Hello everyone, welcome to Alpha IVF and Women Specialists. My name is Siska and today I'll be your host for your open virtual house to our centre. Welcome and follow me. As you step into our centre, you will be greeted with a sight of beautiful lights where there are actually sperms and eggs that symbolises good fertilisations for your IVF journey with us. Alpha IVF started in year 2011 by our founder, Datuk Dr. Colin D. Since then, our centre has produced close to 3,500 babies. And the centre itself is a prestigious member of Malaysia Healthcare Travel Council as well as accredited by the RTEC certifications. As you can see from here, this is the board with our specialists where we have Datuk Dr. Colin Lee, Dr. Haris Hamza, Dr. Leong Wayu, Dr. Tan Chong Siong and Dr. Lam Wei Ken, followed by our group scientific board as well as our embryologists. The first thing that you need to do as you come here for IVF treatment or a fertility assessment is to get the husband's semen analysis done. You will be supplied with a sterile bottle where the semen will go into here and also an envelope for you to put the bottle into that. And there will be a comfortable sperm collections room for you to do the important duty. Please proceed with me. After you have collected your semen into the bottle, you should then put this bottle into the envelope, open the hatch, put it inside, close it, and press the bell. And our embryologist will collect the sample from the other side. Now this place, don't worry, it is CCTV free. However, it is supplied with fast speed Wi-Fi for you to have a good safe entertainment. Mmm, hot chocolate, smells good. Now for some of you, while waiting for your number to be called, you can enjoy some hot beverages from our cafeteria over here. And maybe if let's say you have a meeting to attend, a Zoom call, or need to grab some bite, just lap up over here and don't worry about the queue number because we have a queue number screen attached also in this place. And if you need to do some charging of your laptop or your handphone, the plug is just available down the sofa here. Alternatively, you can also choose to wait in this spacious patient waiting area. This place is designed in such that it looks like an airport lounge where you are segregated with other patients, so your privacy is well taken care of. I also would like to share with you of our IVF success rates. Uh, our innovative treatment protocols and our technologies are validated by our high IVF success rates which is comparable to top IVF centres around the world. One of it is our clinical pregnancy rates up to 82.9%. This place is a private and enclosed area where you will spend some sessions with our nurse to have your history taken. Now, a lot of sensitive and private information will be collected over here in order for us to help you and design a tailored suit program that is best suited to your own individual's condition. As you completed your counselling sessions with our nurse, by then your semen analysis result would have been out. So you shall now proceed to see the doctor. You just need to follow your queue number on the screen as well as the designated doctor room number that appear on the screen. In the doctor consultation room, the wife will undergo a transvaginal scan and an abdominal scan. Now, together with the scan's result as well as the semen analysis, the doctor will come up with a diagnosis and from there, they will devise a treatment plan that is suitable with your individual conditions. Welcome to our day care. On the day of the egg collections, you will spend a couple of hours in this daycare where you will be placed in an ensuite room complete with the bathroom attached as well as your own entertainment channel. Your husband can also accompany you during your stay over here. Hello everyone, my name is Emily, I'm an embryologist here. We are now in the embryology lab. The hatch that you see here is actually connected to the semen collection room. When the bell rings, we will collect the bottle and process the sample either for semen analysis, ICSI, or cryopreservation. This is the operation theatre. 
on your oocyte pickup day, you will be put under anesthesia for the doctor to retrieve your eggs. Then, the embryologist will search for and collect your eggs in this IVF chamber. Once we have successfully collected your eggs, it is now then time for ICSI. ICSI is a process where the sperm is injected into the egg, and all that happens in this ICSI chamber. Your eggs will then be cultured in a timeless incubator called the Embryoscope Plus. This will be home to your embryos where they will be safe and undisturbed for the next 5 to 7 days. The day after your OPU, we embryologists will do a fertilization check and send you an update of their status. The embryos are then left to culture until day 5 where we expect blastocyst formation. On day 5 of culture, embryos which have grown into a utilizable blastocyst will be frozen at this station or transferred at the operation theater. If you opt for PGT, your blastocyst will be biopsied prior to freezing. Now let me show you the tanks where your embryos are stored. My name is Steven. I'm the geneticist at Alpha IVF. I'm here to show you our genetic lab. Come, let's go. This is a PCR machine. It is used to amplify biopsy samples from the embryos. On my left, this is the iron shaft. It automatically prepares the samples for sequencing. Next to it, this is the iron S5, which is a sequencer to sequence DNA for PGT. With these technologies, we are able to help you achieve better success in your IVF treatment. With that, we end the tour of the lab. Having toured the entire place, we hope to see you ring this bell of joy as it marks your successful IVF attend with us as well as the beginning of your parenthood journey. <laughs>